Having a global technology or having a good technological base means that you have to have good education naturally. And I think that Brazil has good education. But you also need to have good industry. You have to have things that attract the good programmers, the good technical people to stay. There have been surveys done which say, you know, it isn't always money that attracts a good person. It is a challenge that they receive from doing interesting work. And if your work isn't interesting, they will go someplace where it is. They wouldn't be surrounded by people like themselves who do interesting work. And so it has to be a cooperation between industry and education to develop the whole scenario. But once you get it started, then it grows. 99% of the people do not buy a computer just to buy a computer, nor do they buy software just to buy software. They have some type of problem that they're trying to solve. And if you focus on that and you say to people, why don't we try and solve your problem with free software, then the money that they would send to Microsoft or to Oracle or to these SAP or these large companies, they can instead pay to their local programmer who will then buy local food and local housing. They will have the money to do that. You need to solve the solution. Say, I will solve your problem, but don't tell me that I have to buy Oracle or buy Microsoft. If you have data in a traditional cloud, you're already in trouble. Because even though the United States has laws that protect its citizens, there are no laws that protect Brazilian citizens. These companies may tell you, yes, you're storing your data in uh, Brazil, but what you don't know is that to get from your computer to the place you're storing the data, it has to pass through London. And when it does, that's when the United States can look at it. So the only way you can really keep your data safe is if you take control of your networking and you take control of your cloud. And that's what peer-to-peer -peer cloud is about. The, the cloud extends from my computer to your computer. And you and I have control of where it goes. If the goodness of technology was what sells technology, then Microsoft would probably wait, still be waiting to sell their first copy. Technology is sold by marketing. You have to give people to understand what problem they're solving and how your technology is going to solve that problem. So if you're a technologist who is starting a company, please think about marketing. And think about marketing to who, who you're going to build your product for, what problem is it going to solve, how many of those people exist, and how much they would have pay you for that product, for that solution. And if that is a good number, well then you have a good product. But if it's a bad number, think of something else.